Hi everyone, it's Vicky here and today I am back with an art journal. I will be working on my moleskin art journal and I am going to use stamps from this stamp set. This is actually by Stampendus. It's called Mermaid Fish and it comes with a mermaid as well as uh, many little fish and waves. Now what I love about these stamp sets is that they come with a stencil that you can use for the negative or the positive space. I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to show you the matching dies and uh, the best thing about the matching dies with Stampendus sets is that they cut out exactly where the black line is without leaving any border. So I'm going to open up a new page here and today I am going for a totally different design than uh, the style that I used to. I want to leave uh, enough white space and I want to create a splash at the center of my pages. So for that I'm going to use these two papers. These are actually masking paper and it's sticky at the back and I'm going to place them on top and decide where I want the splash to be. I will be using my pencil to draw the splash directly on top of the masking paper and the best thing about using a pencil is that I can always go ahead and uh, erase some areas and uh, work a little bit more until I'm happy with my drawing. Now of course you can go ahead and draw directly on the pages of your layout and then use your brushes to color in the splash. But just because I wanted to play with my distress oxide inks today on my art journal, I decided to create this splash stencil so that I can use my blending tools and my inks to add ink on my page. And hopefully you can see what I have drawn better here. And uh, just because I worked on two different pieces of paper, I'm making sure that uh, the line is seamless in the middle. And uh, now I'm going to use a stencil to create some droplets coming out of the splash. Of course I can use my pencil and draw the droplets dire directly without any stenciling, but I just wanted to give you an idea on how you can use stencils other than applying ink through them or paint through them. And now I'm going to use my scissors to cut out my stencil. And here's what I end up having. You can use both the negative and the positive uh, from this stencil. And finally I'm going to use my craft knife to go around the droplets. I don't need to add any pressure at all. This is very thin and all I need to cut out is the top layer. And um, that blue that you see is actually the backing of the masking tape. And now my stencil is ready to go. I hope you can see how beautiful it looks. I am going to peel it off and place it uh, on top of my pages, making sure that I align them correctly. Now since this is a masking uh, paper, it is sticky but not too much, so it is really forgiving and you can peel it off and place it again until you are happy with the placement. I also used my bone folder to go over the masking paper just to make sure that everything is nicely stuck down and now I'm going to have some fun. I am bringing in my Distress Oxide inks and you can see the three colors that I used on the screen right now and actually this is my favorite combination for creating underwater scenes or the colors that I always use when I want to create a water effect. And it's actually nice to stretch yourself a little bit and sometimes go outside your comfort zone. And this is exactly what I'm doing today. So although I usually I have a background that is full of color all over the place, I decided today to leave white space. So I want to create a focal image at the center of my page and have white all around it. And that's exactly what I am going for. Now, of course, I need to make sure that as I am applying my ink with the blending tool, I don't go over the stencil at the top and at the bottom. So if you are going uh, for this look, maybe you want to cover up that uh, top bottom, th that top and the bottom, just in case you make a mistake. Distress Oxide inks blend beautifully together and I really love the effect that they give when you splash water on top of them. So this is what I am going to do. I'm going to make sure that I cover up all the splash through that uh, stencil that I created. And also you can see that in some areas the, it lifts up the stencil, but I, when I go over it with my blending tool I make sure that it's nicely pressed down so I don't make a mess. Once I was happy with the blending and how that uh, looked, I used my heat gun to speed up the drying process and now I'm going to spray some water and also add some droplets, bigger ones. 
And then with a damp cloth, I'm going to blot all that water. And hopefully you can see the splashes that I created. I'm going to repeat the same process just to have even more of those uh, droplets there. And now for my favorite part where I remove the stencil and see what's underneath. And I was really happy with uh, the result. I think it looks awesome. It's just amazing. And uh, I did have some um, smudges here and there. But just because this is ink that reacts with water, you can always wipe them out with a baby wipe. And just uh, that's just exactly what I'm doing here. Just because the baby wipe is wet, it actually lifts the ink. So it leaves the area quite clean. It's not going to look perfect, but definitely cleaner than it was in the beginning. And this is where I am doing all the stamping. I actually picked up every image from the stamp set and stamped it with uh, Tuxedo Black ink on white cardstock. And since I am going for a totally different look of an art journal that I usually do, I decided to leave my big brush markers aside and instead of using them, I am going to use my alcohol markers to color all the images. But uh, I also debated into using my Prismacolor pencils for coloring all these uh, little fish. But uh, finally, uh, my Nouveau alcohol markers won just because they are new to me and I wanted to play around and see all the different combinations that I could make. I used the matching dies and ran all the images through my die cutting machine and I love that uh, they cut out even the inside the white space in between the tail and uh, the mermaid uh, uh, body and uh, I hope you can see that it doesn't leave a border around the image it cuts out exactly where those black lines are and it's great for the look I'm going for where I don't want my images to look like stickers. And here I am coloring all my images with my Nuvo alcohol markers. And um, when I am coloring with alcohol markers, it takes quite a while. It's not as e easy and quick as my big brush markers that I normally do for my art journals. But um, I felt like uh, coloring today. I find it very relaxing. I put on some music and uh, play with my markers. And as I'm doing that, I can answer the question on how I found inspiration for this page, which is usually a question that I get all the time with my art journals. So the inspiration for this uh, art journal came directly from the stamp set. I had the stamp set for quite a few weeks now, and I wanted to create uh, a card using uh, these images. But then I, when I grabbed them today, I thought that it was too beautiful to leave it only on a card, and I just wanted to create an art journal. So I thought that um, this mermaid along with all the fish needed an underwater scene and that's when uh, the pretty much uh, the whole idea came from and uh, you really can't have uh, a proper mermaid without some shine so i used my glitter gel pens to add some shine on her tail as well as on different parts of her body and i hope you can see the shine that i got here of course, to do that, you can use your uh, Wink of Stella glitter pen or your Nouveau shimmer pen or any other brush uh, glitter pen that you have that uh, doesn't have color and you can go all over her to add some shine. But really, I find that these uh, gel pens do a fantastic job and uh, they add so much shine on top of her. I hope you can see the shine there. So now all my focal points are ready to go and of course they have a black line since I stamped them around the design. So just for consistency I am using a thin black marker and I'm going around the splash as well. So I do have uh, black lines around each and every element of my page. I think details like that bring everything together. I also used my white gel pen to add some highlights in different parts of my splash that really makes it look more round and shiny. And it's finally time to stick everything down and bring everything together. So I decided to stick all the images down with my Nouveau Deluxe adhesive. And that's just because my background, this big splash, is made out of Distress Oxide ink. And you don't want to add um, matte medium on top, which is an adhesive that I would normally use on my art journal. So I'm staying away from that. After all, I'm not planning to use my big brush markers to do any shading at all. So all I have to do is to stick everything down with white glue. I'm also using some alphabet stickers that I had for ages in my stash to uh, write down the word 
summer and uh, as I am sticking them down I am making sure that some of my uh, die cuts are on top and some others are at the bottom just like I did with the mermaid here just to add a little bit of dimension. Now I am not allowed to add too much dimension on my art journal otherwise it's going to be too bulky but uh, sometimes I cannot stay away from it so I go for it and embrace the bulkiness of uh, the whole thing at the end. So I'm just going to put on some music and let you see how I assembled the whole thing and catch you back once everything is done. Now everything is done, my layout looks amazing, I love how bright and colorful it looks. I grabbed my white gel pen to add some highlights on some of the cutouts that I have stuck down. And I'm also using it to do some uh, doodling, on, uh, for example on the flowers of her tail, as well as uh, add some white details on some of the fish. I also grabbed the black uh, gel pen, the glitter gel pen, from my set and went over the eyes of all the fish and that doesn't look as much through camera but in real life it makes the eyes more vibrant and brings uh, the fish to life. Now I'm also going to stamp the date at the very bottom of my layout and the ink cube that I used to stamp that is actually archival ink and that's the color of paradise teal that matches perfectly the colors of my layout. As a final step I'm going to add glossy accents over my droplets which is going to dry totally clear and it's going to give a beautiful shine. And that was the art journal for today, I hope I inspire you to go outside your comfort zone and go for something totally new for you, just like I did today. Don't forget that you can find a full list of all the supplies that I used today down below in the description area as well as on my blog. Here are some close-up photos of the layout that I made today. And if you need more inspiration, here are two more videos that I created a while back. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already and thank you all for watching!